out of all the features that are in this week's beta, there's actually one that's not present on the Chainsaw. If I click on play and I click on one of these old worlds, these are worlds that I made in 1.17. If I go ahead and click on one of these, we get this new pop-up, world update. This update makes your world higher and deeper. It adds more blocks and caves under your current world. So there's more to explore underground. Now originally when you were to try to load up an old world, you would not get a pop-up like this. You would just load it to the world, there would not be a warning. Like, I just didn't like that. Now as a quick example, we're back in last week's beta, which was 0.22. If I go and click on play, and I click on one of my old worlds, we don't give ourselves a warning, just loading up right to the world. Now let's say you do accidentally load up your world when you're in the beta. Well, you can just simply go into an MBT editor and you can change the minimum version number back to the official release or whatever release you want to change it to. I've done this numerous of times and it has saved my butt a lot. Going back to the latest beta, if I click on play and I click on one of these worlds, as I mentioned, you will get this pop up. Then down here, we have make a backup copy of my world. If you do not check that, then it will not make a backup. It will just go straight into the world. But if you do check that and you click update and play, then it will make a copy of that world. So that way you don't have to do it yourself. And I just love that so, so much. Because it means that you don't have to worry about your world just getting corrupted if you're playing in a beta. I mean, I'm just happy that they finally introduced that because it just makes things so much better. And it definitely adds that extra layer of protection for your world. The moment I back out, we now have a copy of the world right here. And if I click on it, then we get this pop up again. Now with that being said, I would really love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're around here, and don't forget to turn on notifications. And I will catch you next time. Goodbye.